हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू अवर यूट्यूब चैनल अनफॉग विद डॉक्टर अतहर परवीन सो हियर आई एम विद द मोस्ट अवेटेड पार्ट थ्री सेशन ऑन कर्नाटका टीईटी पेपर टू मैथमेटिक्स एंड दिस इज द सेशन बिलोंगिंग टू द सीरीज वेर वी थॉट ऑफ एक्सप्लेनिंग सेवन कंपलसरी क्वेश्चन विच वी मे एक्सपेक्ट इन कर्नाटका टीईटी ट्वेंटी ओके नौ Before starting the class, I want to uh, quickly tell you about this most important point that uh, Karnataka Teacher Eligibility Test uh, will be held on June 30th, 2024, and uh, the online uh, submission will be closed on uh, 15th of uh, May. Okay, so this is the very important date for you all. So if you all have not applied. Please apply as soon as possible and make sure that you apply well before 15th May. Okay, and uh, even the date of the exam has also uh, come. Okay, that is June 30th. Now I am always telling about Karnataka TET 2024 that it is a very very important uh, examination because it can change your life because it is the mandatory eligibility criterion for the most awaited gpstr recruitment which we are expecting in 2024 so if you have not qualified in tet then you will not be eligible to write gpstr so please please apply and uh, try to prepare as much as possible i am sure that you will qualify even if you are writing this exam for the first time because you have time still right you have time around i think uh, 50 days to are there okay or maybe more than 45 days to are there only right so don't worry just apply tomorrow and then start preparing okay so on this note uh, let us start uh, this session now in this session we are going to tell you the third compulsory uh, expected maths question in tet 2024 okay so i have made this blueprint uh, and i have been uh, uh, mentioning about this blueprint uh, since uh, few previous classes so if you are uh, new to our channel please do subscribe and uh, share our classes among uh, your friends and help them also so if you are a new subscriber then uh, please do hear about this uh, blueprint see uh, this is the blueprint which we have made uh, with our experience and analyzing many previous year question papers so this is the syllabus of uh, uh, tet paper 2 so from arithmetic progression we are expecting one to two questions this time from number system one to four questions in statistics and probability two questions may be in trigonometry one to two questions coordinate geometry one to two questions and in identities maybe one or they may not ask any question from this chapter in pair of linear equations in two variables also maybe they will ask one question or they may skip this time also and in uh, quadratic equations you may get one question polynomials you may get one question from mensuration you may get four to five questions and from triangles you may get one question from quadrilaterals you may get one to two questions from circles you may get one question and uh, area related to circles you may get one to two questions okay so on this note uh, let us start this session before that uh, let me give you the answer of uh, this problem which we had given as assessment in the uh, previous session so the question was if a is equal to c to the power z b is equal to a to the power x and c is equal to b to the power y the value of x y z is so this is the answer and uh, the answer is one many of you uh, actually answered but uh, the aspirant who gave the answer for the first time that is in the comment section the first comment with the right answer was from taslim mirza so keep it up taslim so we are proud of you that uh, you have watched our class and you have given uh, the answer quickly okay and the answer is correct very good keep it up okay let us move ahead with this session now so in 2022 and 2023 i have got uh, questions from chapter circles so when i talk about this chapter i always try to uh, give some very important points 
before discussing anything about uh, circles that there are few theorems among them four important theorems i am giving you here first theorem is that if you have a circle then angle in a semicircle is 90 degree okay so when the angle which is formed in a semicircle it is 90 degree and then the angle at the circumference is half of the angle at the center for example if you have 60 degree at the circumference then you will have a 120 degree at the center means 60 degree is a half of 120 degree okay third important theorem is that the angles in the same segment from a common chord they are equal which is the common chord here this is the common chord right so if you draw as many angles from this chord you will have same angles at that circumference okay for example if it is 32 degree this also will be 32 degree this also will be 32 degree okay and another important uh, theorem is that the opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral always add up to 180 degree so if you add these two angles you will get 180 degree if you add these two angles you will get 180 degree okay so you will have many more uh, theorems from this chapter if you are our paid class aspirant then you will be knowing about this if you are not our paid class aspirant then please uh, search for more theorems from uh, high school textbooks maybe you will get it in the 10 standard textbook also from that you can prepare okay so one example which i am giving you is this in the figure o is the center of the circle of radius 5 cm p and q are points on chords a b and c d respectively such that op is perpendicular to ab oq is perpendicular to cd and ab is parallel to cd ab is equal to 6 cm and cd is equal to 8 cm determine pq so in this type of a problem first you have to imagine and uh, if already the figure is given then to no problem if they are not given the figure then you should draw it by yourself and if they have given the figure then there may be scope for construction like uh, in this figure there is a scope for construction you need to join the radii okay after joining the radii then you have the answer very clearly here ab is a 6 cm so that's why ap will be half of 6 cm and cq also will be half of 6 cm because perpendicular from center of the circle to a chord will bisect the chord means it will cut the chord into two equal parts and also OA and OC are radius which is given as 5 cm in the question then you can easily apply Pythagoras theorem for triangles AOP and triangle COQ and then you can easily find the value of PQ by adding the OP and OQ. You will get the values of OP and OQ by using the Pythagoras theorem. Okay. Next important example. In the given figure A, B and C are three points on a circle with center O such that angle BOC is equal to 30 degree and angle AOB is equal to 60 degree. If D is a point on the circle other than the arc ABC, find angle ADC. So here it is uh, very simple because you can easily observe here that angle AOC is equal to angle AOB plus angle BOC. So this will give you 60 degree plus 30 degree is equal to 90 degree. I have told you in the starting of the session only that the angle subtended by an arc at the center will be double the angle subtended by it uh, uh, at any point on the remaining part of the circle. So angle ADC will be half of angle AOC. So your angle ADC should be 90 degree by 2 or 45 degrees. Okay. Another expected example is this. Two chords PQ and RS intersect at point O inside the circle. If OP is equal to 4 cm, OQ is equal to 9 cm and RS is equal to 12 cm, then the value of OR is. So in this question they have not given you figure. So you need to imagine and draw the figure first and then you can easily solve the problem here you can see that uh, when two chords intersect each other within a circle the product of the chord segments will be equal so this is another theorem so here op into oq will be equal to or into os 
So here let the value of OR be x centimeter. Then uh, you have the other values just you need to substitute. Now just imagine that if the value of OR is x, then what will be the value of OS? It will be entire of 12 minus x, right? So that thing you need to substitute here. So this is x square, okay? So 36 is equal to 12x minus x square. It will be a quadratic equation. Then you can just solve it and your answer will be 6 centimeters. Okay, so the value of OR will be 6 centimeters. Okay. Now here comes your assessment on the similar note. So I am giving you uh, that type of a question only. You need to find the value of CD here. And I will give you clue also. The clue is this diagram. Okay, so you can uh, use this diagram and uh, solve this problem on the lines of the previous problem. So the aspirant who will give the first correct answer in the comment section, the aspirant's name will be announced in the next session. Okay, please subscribe to my channel and share this very very useful class among other TET aspirants. And uh, also you can join our telegram channel and telegram group. You will get the link in the description below. So if you join that uh, telegram channel, you can directly come into our telegram group and uh, you can have a direct uh, interaction with us. If you have any doubt, you can clear your doubts there. And also we are happy to announce that uh, we are giving a very good question bank for uh, child development pedagogy to our uh, TET paid course aspirants. So if you are our TET paid course aspirant, then uh, you will get the uh, question bank very soon, maybe within two or three days only. And if you have not joined our paid classes, then please do consider joining our paid classes uh, because you will get uh, many more things in the uh, paid classes like uh, 35 regular paid classes are there and notes for these paid classes is given and 12 revision classes are already available and now we have also introduced the useful practice worksheets uh, including the child development pedagogy and uh, as per our timetable which we have discussed in the previous session we will be taking more revision classes for paid course aspirants from next week okay so every weekend paid course aspirants will get the revision classes as per the timetable more details will be announced in the telegram group dedicatedly made for tt 2024 paid course aspirants okay so if you have any doubt then please feel free to contact us via whatsapp message our number is 9110558369 or you can also mail us to Atahar TET HSTR courses at the rate gmail.com. Okay. Or you can also write in the Telegram group. You will get the uh, link in the description below this video. So if you have any query related to the enrollment in TET paid classes, then you can approach us there. Uh, anyway, you will get all details in our Telegram group also. We keep sharing things there also. So if you are interested, you can join our classes. Okay. And if you are an aspirant who is not joining our course, then also you have many classes in our free YouTube channel, which is this channel, Unfog with Dr. Atahar Parvin. Please explore our channel and try to prepare for your exam. Remember, you have less than 50 days now. Okay, so please take uh, this point as a serious point and start preparing. Okay, then thank you. All the best. Bye.